Hi, it's Miss Christy from the Hickory Corner Library, and today I want to share with you something really, really cool. Actually, it's really, really cold. It's freezing cold. It's negative 109 degrees cold. It's dry ice. So my sister ordered some ice cream online and it came in the mail and it was packaged with dry ice. So it just arrived today and the dry ice is already, it's vaporizing, it's disappearing. So I wanted to quickly use it for some fun activities. So we're going to start with dry ice bubbles. So let me grab some dry ice right now. I'm going to put on my gloves to get it out because dry ice, like I said, is freezing. It's so cold, it will actually burn me, which kind of seems... The opposite, you would think that you know, fire would burn, um, so something hot would burn, but the dry ice is so cold that it actually can burn, so I have to wear gloves when I'm handling it. So what is dry ice? Well, you know what regular ice is, right? What is ice made out of? It's made out of water. Well, in this case, there's no water involved. This is frozen carbon dioxide. So let's see. I have a chunk of it here. Um, so this is dry ice that's in here. I'm actually gonna see if I can break it a little. Get a couple pieces, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of this dry ice into this container of water I have here. So I bought this as a kit, this whole container that already has the tube and everything, but there are ways you can make your own. And um, there is a link in the description of this video where you can see another video that shows how to make your own if you wanted to do that. But I'm gonna, you're gonna need a container like this if you wanna try to make dry ice bubbles. Obviously, some dry ice, which you can find at some grocery stores. I can't find it in grocery stores around here um, in Mercer County area. It's very tough. Um, I have found some in like Jackson area or sometimes in Burlington. Um, but otherwise, in Ewing, there's a place called Arctic Ice Cream, and that's usually where I get my dry ice from. Or in this case, it came in the mail with ice cream. You also need um, just a bowl of some dish soap and water. So let me add my dry ice to my container here. I'm gonna put it just like that. You can see all the vapor coming off. And now it's bubbling up. So this water in here was, was really warm. And now the dry ice is cooling it down. And so this process, what you're seeing here, this vapor, is called sublimination. So sublimination is when um, a solid turns right to a gas. There's no melting in between. There's no liquid. It doesn't have a liquid state. It has a solid state and a gas state, but no liquid. So now let's see what's going to happen. So now when I put this lid on, it comes out of this end. But now watch, I'm going to move it over. When I put this down in here, okay, I'm going to take this lid off, rip this up, hold on, wait, down, then in. <gasps> and I'm getting bubbles. So these are sometimes called boo bubbles, ghost bubbles, or smoke bubbles, because it looks like smoke, but it's not smoke. It's actually just a really, really cool vapor. So I'm gonna take off these gloves now, because I'm not actually touching the dry ice, and the mist itself is completely fine. Although I do make sure I'm in like a ventilated area, um, just because I don't want to be inhaling just all carbon dioxide. Not be a good idea. Um, but I'm gonna put a glove on and see if I can catch some of these bubbles. So you see, I take the lid off when I stick this down in here. Then I put the lid on to force it to come through this tube. And then when I lift it up, we get our bubbles. That lid's not on so good. And so when I'm wearing the gloves, I can actually catch them. Sometimes you can catch them on your hands if your hands are really soapy. Um, the soap makes it more, the water more elastic, which is how bubbles are formed in the first place. But in this case, instead of them being filled with air, they're filled with the carbon dioxide vapor. So let me see if I can get some more. Okay, put it in again, cover it up. Let's see. There we go. So that is how you make smoke bubbles or boo bubbles or CO2 bubbles. And now I'm gonna to try to make a big one. So to make a big one is a little tougher. I'm gonna move this over to the side. I'm gonna take this lid off. 
I've got a big bowl of water now. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rest of this in here. Okay? And then I'm going to try to make a bubble on the top. So what I'm going to need is some kind of piece of fabric or something. This is just cut from a t-shirt or like a towel. I'm gonna to soak it in the bubble water solution. Let me put my dry ice in. Take this off. I'm careful not to touch the dry ice because I don't have my gloves on. So I'm making sure I'm just touching the bag. Okay. Now, that looks really cool. So now, it's like Halloween in here. Let me see if I can make a bubble across the top. This is very, very, very tricky. It keeps popping, especially it's pretty tough when it's really, really kind of smoking like this, although it's not actual smoke. Again, it's vapor. Let's see. Let me try this t-shirt one. I'm seeing if I can see the line of the bubble across the top. Get really nice and soapy here. I have it halfway. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Can I get the whole thing? And oh, I did. So I've made a bubble. So right now it's covered in soap. And now this carbon dioxide, it's trying to escape. The vapor's trying to get out. So it's rising up, up, up. And I told you, soap makes it elastic. So it's stretching. So it's going to keep going like that until it can't stretch anymore. And then it's going to pop. I know friends at the library who've seen me do this. They always want to come over and they want to pop it. And then we have the other friends who want to see how big it could possibly get. So it's always, it's always a competition of who's going to come over and pop it first. Or can we wait and actually see how big it gets? Do you want to see it pop? Or you want to wait? Let's see. We'll give it another, another few seconds and see if it goes on its own. Oh, it did. It fell over the side and it popped on its own, letting the vapor out. So this is lots of fun to do these kinds of activities. But we can also do something else with dry ice. We can make ice cream. So that's what I'm going to do now. We'll move that to the side. We'll keep that there for some ambiance because um, it really looks neat. So I'm going to get a bowl now and some vanilla on all my materials I need here. So I'm going to be using, um, this is just some heavy whipping cream. You can also use um, milk or half and half or other cream. The creamier the, the, the dairy product is, the milk is, um, the thicker your ice cream is going to be. So the, the creamier it's going to be. Um, so depending on how much fat's in there. So I'm going to use one cup of this heavy whipping cream. And pour it in my bowl. And then I'm going to use, since I'm just making this for myself, that's not a lot, the one cup. And then I'm going to do a quarter cup of sweetened condensed milk. Now you could use sugar. Um, if you use sugar though, sometimes people end up cooking it on the stove first. Um, they might use eggs in it as well. Um, just because otherwise the sugar is kind of gritty. But you could use sugar um, if you wanted to. But if you have sweetened condensed milk, you can use that instead. Um, and again, I've halved this recipe just because it's just for myself right now. So, one cup of my cream, a quarter cup of the sweetened condensed milk, and now I'm going to have a teaspoon of vanilla. I can make vanilla ice cream. You could add chocolate syrup or um, any other flavoring if you wanted a different flavor ice cream. And we'll whisk it together. My ingredients all ready. And now, here's the thing. We do not want to eat dry ice. I said it would burn you. You definitely don't want to burn your mouth or your esophagus. Not a good idea. So, I need to crush the dry ice into a powder so that it really um, kind of subliminates right away. And that way, it'll make this really cold. Um, it'll make it freezing. But it also... Um, won't leave any chunks in there that we're going to possibly eat. Or I guess I'm going to possibly eat. I'm sorry, I can't share with you. <laughs> so, let me get more dry ice. Let me get my other gloves on. And I'm going to get out the dry ice, and I'm going to try to break it up as much as I can. So it's just a small bit here, since I don't have a lot 
of um, ice cream, a lot of liquid. I'm gonna put it on here. You can see some's already kind of coming out of the bag a little bit, and that's fine. But I'm really getting it powdery. And I'm not gonna pour it all in at once. I'm just gonna pour some in, um, and then I'll add more as needed. Oh, I got a little hole in the bag now. That's fine too. And let me just start stirring it and I'll see if I need more. Oh, it's going. It's going. You can hear it getting icy. <laughs> so right now it's like, this is like, um, kind of like, very very melty ice cream so it looks like i need some more let's pour some more in and stir oh my goodness now it's getting thick now while it still has the vapor coming off of it i would not want to try this i would not want to eat it i'm not going to lick it off of here no 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 that would be dangerous we have to wait for the vapor to come off of it so it usually it will stop on um, the vapor when it gets to um, I think it's about 50 degrees or so the vapor will stop so when it cools to that much so as you can see these ones are already starting to go down we when I first put them in it was like crazy how much there was and now they're they're starting to kind of dissipate and it's still bubbling but um, not as much vapor okay so this is looking really good but again, I'm not going to try it just yet. We're going to wait until the vapor is all gone. Okay, so now that there's no longer any vapor coming off of the ice cream, I can give it a try, which I'm so excited to try this because it's so hot out here on my back porch. Um, so let me get some nice cold ice cream. Mmm. That's really, really yummy. So I hope you enjoyed learning about dry ice, and had fun seeing some of the experiments and some of the activities you could do with dry ice at home.